Welcome to War Thunder with Subdued. How y'all doing today? Well, after walking away from jet battles for about a month and seeing if Gaijin will uh, correct themselves, it appears that they have not. They still have the same old dumb matches that have the same old dumb circumstances with awful objectives, awful la map layouts, and generally just don't give a damn. So, I'm just going to keep playing this and see where it goes. Well, another absolutely uh, horrible map with stupid objectives and on a map that's too small. Uh, this isn't playable. Not with jets. And it just isn't worth the trouble. So, Gaijin, are you listening yet? This is stupid, and you're being stupid. Another wasteful map that is absolutely not big enough to do anything on. The Cologne map, or Battle for the Rhine as it's called, is again too small for battle rating 8 and 9 aircraft. So, I'm not taking my hunter into a stupid little match like this. Alright, here's another example of a map that just isn't big enough to be able to do anything on. This is the Poland map. And again, battle rating 8 and 9 planes are too fast with all the targets directly between the two airfields as set up by Gaijin in absolute stupidity. This is ridiculous. This needs to end. They need to rejigger all these maps to make them so that they are playable by battle rating 8 and 9 jets. Otherwise, the only people playing them are those people who are air-to-air -air gurus and aficionados or complete noobs who don't know a damn thing about what they're doing. And right now, it's mostly noobs that have absolutely no idea what they're doing. So, I'm not playing this one either. Okay, another map that really needs to be retired from battle rating 7, 8, and 9 because the map is too small. Gaijin, come on! This is getting ridiculous. Everything on these maps is too close together. Now, I don't care what the lines on the map say. The maps are too small. And you've placed all the targets directly between the two airfields. This map is absolutely abysmal because 90% of the time, you know, if I'm flying a battle rating 8 or 9 aircraft, the enemy's flying CL-13As. And CL-13As cross the map in zip point nada. Do you think I really want to be flying when there's a plane that can utterly destroy me on top of me before my airspeed is even up? Or you've got ME-163s. Come on, Gaijin. Do a cranial rectal inversion because this is really annoying. There is no reason to be flying jets 
in this game until you get your head out your ass and fix things. Thank you. Well, my aggravation has gone on now for about two hours trying to catch a match in uh, Jets and I have had absolutely no success with any match that has come up and it has ranged from the old Bastogne map to the new Bastogne map and basically it's all garbage. Um, none of the maps are worth flying on because they all end up being nothing but team deathmatch. There's no way to fly an attack mission. There's no way to do any of that because all the targets, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, are directly between the two air bases. And until Gaijin fixes that, it's going to be a non-starter. They had one map, well they had two maps, but I haven't seen either of them come up. Borge Selmer was one, although a lot of people didn't like it because there was a lot of flying to do to, to get to the targets. And the other was the alternate history Spain map which a lot of people didn't like because it was the only map that was worth flying on and we got it a lot. But now they've taken both of those out of rotation so we don't get them. And because we don't get them there is no reason to be flying any of the jets anymore because it is absolutely stupid to be flying any of the jets on any of these other maps, especially if you want to do a ground attack mission. Navy planes are built for ground attack. French planes are built for ground attack. British planes, well, some of them are built for ground attack. But you get the gist of it. And not everyone is, you know, Robin Olds or whoever the top Soviet ace is or, you know, this is the part that's really bothering because you don't get any missions that are worth flying if you want to do anything other than air-to-air -air Mortal Kombat. Sorry, Gaijin needs to get with the program and stop doing this. They have been systematically screwing missions into the ground by taking elements out of them over and over and over and over. That's what makes the game fun. Different elements in the game. Right now, the only element in the game is Team Deathmatch. Air-to-air -air combat. Mortal combat. Blah, 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 blah. Stupid, 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 stupid. And, you know, it's been a month since I've played Jets because I'm not willing to play stupid. And I really want to play with my Jets because I like playing with Jets. But I am not a air-to-air -air combat specialist like, you know, some of these other players. Um, Soaring Thunder or the Orange Doom or any of those guys. I admit it. I'm horrible at air-to-air. -air. 
but what I'm good at is sticking ground targets and somebody's going to get the brilliant idea go and play with tanks no screw tanks that's arcade and somebody's going to get the brilliant idea go with naval no that's arcade that's all arcade Two-thirds of this game are nothing but arcade. You've only got two modes out of one-third of the game that are fun to play, in my opinion. Now, I know my opinions are like buttholes. But you know what? This butthole's talking back. I want nothing to do with arcade play. It's stupid. It's absolutely worthless. Come on, Gaijin. Pull your head out your ass. Quit being a bunch of fucktards. And fix goddamn jets. Either make some new maps or put some old maps back into rotation. Do your freaking jobs, developers. Because right now, you're laying down on the ground and just stroking yourselves. Subdude, signing off because this is fucking stupid.